In this video, we're going to look at how to copy nodes and flows in Node-RED. Now, there are several ways of doing it, and they are you can select, copy, and paste, which is Control C and Control V. You can export and import to the clipboard, and you can save and you can retrieve from the local library. And in this video tutorial, we're going to look at all three methods. So we're going to start out with the um, Control C, Control V option, the standard copy and paste that you use in word processing. And we just got a basic flow here, so I could copy this node by clicking it and highlighting. You can see it's highlighted here. I can copy all nodes just by using the Control A, and it highlights all of them. And then once I've highlighted the nodes I want in the flow, I just Control C, and it says here two nodes copied. And then I position my cursor anywhere I want, and it could be in this flow it could be in another flow and I just control V and it gets copied in there so control C and control V and optionally control A to select all of the node so the next method is using the export and import and again I need to select the nodes I want to export and to do that I'm going to use control A to select all of these nodes and then I go over to the settings and export and this time I export to the clipboard here and you can see it all appears there and now continue and just click export to clipboard and now I need to open a, a text document and I'm just going to use notepad and then I go into that text document and I paste the code into there and now I need to save that and I'm just going to put it onto my desktop and I'll just give it a flow extension so I know what it, exactly where it is and then I can close it Okay, so that's exported it. Now I can take that um, text document and I can install it on another Node-RED installation on, on another computer. And it's a very good way of uh, exporting your flows uh, to other computers, to other users. Now to get a flow that's been exported that way into your uh, Node-RED flow, all you do is use the opposite, which is the import, and you go to the import and you import from the clipboard so now you need to paste the flow into here, so I need to open up that um, text document that I just closed. So here's the text document, all I do again is Control A to select all of it, Control C to copy, and then I go back to my import and I Control V to paste it in there, and I finish off by import. And there it is there. Now I just position it into the flow wherever I want to. And again, I could import this into another flow. Into, I could import it into here if I wanted to. So that's using the export and import to clipboard function. And the third method is by using the built-in library. Using the, the library, you can actually copy um, flows. And you can also copy individual functions. And we're going to look at doing both in this video. So I'm going to use Control A again to select all of the the nodes in this flow, and then this time I go to export, and this time I'm exporting to the library, not the clipboard. And I need to give it a name. I can also give it a subdirectory. Now by default they're stored in the library folder, and the flows are stored in a subfolder called flows, and the functions in a subfolder called functions but I can actually create other subfolders underneath those those folders. But I'm not going to bother in this one, I'm just going to give it a, a name. So I call it testflow.flow and then I just export to finish the job and then it saves the nodes there. Now to use that flow all you need to do now is the opposite and you to, is to import it. So if I go import and this time I import from the library and it actually shows the flow there so I import the flow and there it appears 
There we go. That appears there. Now the main difference between uh, exporting it to the library or exporting it to the clipboard and then to a text file is the, li the library is used really when you want to reuse the, the flows and the functions on the same machine and the clipboard and the file is used when you actually want to transfer the, the flows to a, a different machine or a different user. So now let's just delete those and this time we'll do the, the function so to export the function to the library we just click the function it opens up and you can see this icon here we click there and it says save to the library so we save this function to the library again I need to give it a name now it's important when you do functions that the function has a name you can see here it's called blocking delay and I don't need to give it a folder it's already given a file name named after the the name here and I just go save and now to use that uh, library function all I need to do now is to drag a function in here open it up again use this icon here and this time I open the library and you can see my function is listed here now, if I had to given the function a name, it would have fit, appeared, appeared here as unnamed function, which is totally unhelpful. So it's important you give the function a name before you save it. And then I just load it. And I'm done. It loads into the function. And I'm done. Now, if you want to override a stored library, all you need to do there is open it up again and edit it. And save it back to the library and save it back into the same file and it overrides the the original one now it's important to realize that uh, once you've imported the function into the the function node then it's stored in that function node and if you go back and change the library uh, the, the function in the library doesn't actually change the one you've already imported into a flow so you'd have to re-import it back into the flow if you wanted to pick up the changes in the in the library that you've made now this is the home directory on my Linux machines on a Raspberry Pi you can see it's home Steve dot node red if you can read that it's very faint and library and if I open the library up you can see there's two folders there one called flows one called functions they were created by the system and if I open up the functions you can see there's the function that I created or sorry saved and if I open up the flow you can see there's the the flow there now you could always um, transfer these to a different machine by copying them copying these folders and transferring them that way I say it's normally easier to use the export clipboard file method rather than use the, use the library if you want to move it to a different machine or to a different user. Okay, that's how to copy nodes and flows and functions in Node Red, and it brings us to the end of the video. If you've got a comment on the video, then leave it below. If you like the video, then use the like button below. And if you want to get notified of new videos, you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.